the foreign film Parasite, mm -hmm. okay, got the Oscar for Best Picture at the Oscars. In the New York Times, uh, we have the following. The triumph of paradise is a sign of a crisis of uh, a parasite. I'm sorry, the, par the triumph of parasite is a sign of a crisis of faith in capitalism. It's a radical parable of inequality. Where are these people coming from? It's, it's the opposite of Ronald Reagan. You know, with Ronald Reagan, it was Morning in America. It was the shining city on the hill. We were aspirational. Movies were redemptive. Um, today, it's AOC. And it, it's, it's all about uh, negativity and trying to tear it down. And it's ironic because you're in these booming days yes. where you just it's mentioned the stock market is up. You had another 100 points. Um, you know, we, we can go through all the stats. You know all the stats of record employment and, and, and every strata of minority blacks, women, you know, Hispanics. Everyone is in a boom. Yet Hollywood applauds a movie that says just the opposite. They say they reflect reality. Hollywood reflects reflects only its reality. I think you, you got that right. I want to get more on the rate. The, uh, I want the ratings for the Oscars. And Lauren, you've got them. Oh, I got them. They crash? All time low. Good. Never lower. 23.6 million watched on Sunday night. 6 million less than 2019. You know, in 2019, they didn't have a host. That, was, that worked. The ratings weren't terrible. Well, they did the no host thing again, and the ratings just plummeted. Some of the acceptance speeches, like Brad Pitt's, got political. A lot of people said they weren't into it, and the show was boring, and, well, that was the result. Now, take a look at this tweet from Ricky Gervais about the Oscars. Quoting now, I have nothing against the most famous people in the world using their privileged global platform to tell the world what they believe. I even agree with most of it. I just tried to warn them that when they lecture everyday hard-working people, it has the opposite effect. He's uh, right. Ouch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You, know, you know what I think They won't is, watch. Yeah. We, we rebel against this. Yeah, well, you know what I think is happening? You can say, yes, streaming video has, has uh, had an effect on the numbers for the Oscars. But look, they're paying for the sins of previous Oscars. You know, you, clearly, the word has gone out. Get, do not do the political because it's just driving away your audience. So Brad Pitt was the only one. And last year, if I recall, they had almost nothing. Um, but look what they did before, where it was a, a, a de rigueur. You had to be as insulting as possible. And today, you've got a vast swath of the American people that has no intention of even trying to see what might be on the Oscars. I think they may have lost them permanently. Mm. <laughs> you want comfort hope?